Hey, thanks for coming. I'm Robert, and today we're going to talk about NSF positions. Okay, so NSF positions, non-sufficient funds, are positions that your strategy buys, but the simulation doesn't have funds for. Okay, so the idea is pretty simple. If you have, uh, as I'm showing here in the screen, uh, I have a strategy set up so that we have three buys on Monday. If we're using 50% of our equity, we can only buy two of these. And the two that you buy are gonna be based on the priority or the weight of the transaction that we can set in the strategy. And that's another video, or that will be another video. So I've set up a strategy here that is going to demonstrate the, um, the effect of, uh, of non-sufficient fund positions, NSF positions. These signals could be based on anything, based on some moving average or some crossover of some indicator, but I've set it up easily so that it can you can just use the days of the week. And the way it works is that um, Apple is going to be bought on Monday and be sold three days later. Boeing's gonna be bought on Monday and sold a day later. And Citigroup is gonna have two opportunities to buy, one on Monday, one on Tuesday. But in both cases, uh, if if they if it buys on Monday, it's going to sell on Wednesday. If it buys on Tuesday, it'll sell on Thursday. So two days later. Okay, so let's look at the strategy settings. Okay, we've, we've set this up for 50% of equity. So it's only going to be able to buy two positions at a time. Uh, I'm ending this on a Wednesday. So we're going to be able to see alerts for Thursday, alerts or signals. And let's look go down here to look at the advanced positions. Uh, pardon me, the advanced settings. Uh, we have retain NSF positions. Okay, so this is what we're talking about. And we're, we're gonna run this two different ways, one with retain and one without retain NSF positions. When you're retaining NSF positions, the strategy is going to uh, act as if the position is open and behind the scenes, it'll sell it on Wednesday and it'll be ready to buy again on, on Thursday, or be ready to buy on the next signal. So in other words, if it's a single position strategy, it won't have an opportunity to buy again on Tuesday if the opportunity presents itself because it's already in a position on Monday, even though that position isn't part of the simulation. OK, so let's go through the signals to see to make sure that this is working the way we think it's going to. OK, let's run it on Apple. It's already run on Apple, you can see. And you can see that the buys occur on, uh, well, let's call it trading days left of the week, number four. and on number one, it's selling, okay? So we're going four to one, four to one. Okay, if we run this on Boeing, we're, we're gonna buy on four, sell on three. So or, so you can see we're buying and selling the next day. And then on Citigroup, we're buying on Monday and selling two days later, okay? Now, if we run the demo, if we run, uh, the, the portfolio back test on the th on those three positions run let's see what happens okay switching to the positions view you can see we only bought apple and boeing okay those were the strategy set up to have more weight for those two positions so it's always going to buy apple and boeing over citigroup on monday and since we're retaining let's go back to a chart since we're retaining the ns retaining this position even though Boeing's being sold on Tuesday, the underlying strategy is still holding Citigroup open until Wednesday, so it doesn't see this buy on Tuesday. Okay, so that's the effect of retain NSF positions. The strategy is retaining this position. Okay, and you can see we got a sell for Apple on Thursday. Let's run this. Um, let's run. Let's change the uh, date setting so that we run this, sorry, until a Tuesday. And let's rerun the back test and let's see what happens. Okay, so we have a signal. Oh, and look at that, it's Citigroup. And this little end there shows that that's an NSF position. So even though Citigroup, let's go back to the results and go to the positions. Even though Citigroup wasn't, let's go back to the latest uh, entry date. Even though Citigroup wasn't bought this week, the strategy is telling you to sell it. 
And that's because it's possible that if you're actually trading the strategy live, you're going to see all three of those signals on Monday. And if you actually bought Citigroup on Monday, the, the strategy is going to tell you to sell it on Wednesday, uh, two days later, right? Okay. So that's the effect of retain NSF positions. Let's set this, reset this up again. Let's go back to um, Wednesday and let's turn off retain NSF positions and rerun the back test. Okay, so now we're doing it without retaining the position. What happens? You can see that Citigroup is being bought one day later. Okay. Now, why is that? Well, if we're not retaining this position, Wealth Lab basically throws it out. The strategy doesn't, doesn't con consider this position as open. This, and when Boeing is sold on Tuesday, uh, that frees up the equity to buy Citigroup on, on this next buy. And then you can see on for Thursday, we're getting two signals. Neither one of these are NSF positions because it actually bought Citigroup on Tuesday. Okay, I know that's it's kind of a confusing topic, but the idea is that with NSF positions, the, the positions themselves don't actually affect the strategy, but whether or not you retain the positions can affect how the strategy performs as we just demonstrated. And so you can probably go back and watch that again and, uh, and, and maybe get a, a good handle on that. Um, the only other thing I wanted to mention was that in the strategy monitor, each symbol is run individually. They each ha all have access to the, the full amount of the equity curve. Um, so they're not sharing it with the other symbols in the portfolio. So NSF positions really, even though they can occur with multi-position uh, strategies, it's not really a factor for the strategy monitor. So we'll have to do a video on that another day. Lastly, let's uh, pull up uh, the help. And if you want to read a little bit more about NSF positions, go to strategy, advanced strategy settings, and retain NSF positions. It's covered right here. Okay. Once again, thanks for coming.